My name is Fedor Zarhan. I'm the health reporter with The Oregonian, and I've been covering uh, this vaping epidemic. More than 2,000 people have been hospitalized nationwide. 48 people have died. Two of those people who died were Oregonians. Now, if we talk nationally, here's the picture. 80% of the hospitalized victims used vape products with THC. That's the chemical in marijuana that gets people high. And now most of those products too were illicit, counterfeit. They weren't things that people bought at licensed, inspected stores. They bought them from their pals, online, whatever. The most common product people reported using, people who use THC and fellow was it's called dank vapes. The feds say they don't exactly know who even makes dank vapes. So four out of five uh, people who've fallen ill nationally use THC products, 80%. What about the other 20? So the other key category is people who say they've only used nicotine products. It's a small percent, that's 13% nationally. Data's inconclusive, you know, it could be that people don't want to say what they really used. You know, THC isn't, you know, marijuana isn't legal everywhere. Now that's the national numbers. Now let's look at Oregon. Oregon's had 20 victims and at least 11 of them used THC vape products, presumably bought at legal retail stores. There's no evidence they bought counterfeit products according to the state. At least six of Oregon's victims say they only used nicotine vape products. And that's about 30%. It's a lot more than the ratio nationally they say they used only nicotine. Second key piece of the puzzle is what exactly in these products is making people ill. And the strongest clue right now that people have is this thing called a vitamin E acetate. The feds think it could be a relatively new chemical added to these THC vape oils and could be being used to dilute vape oils. So that would mean, let's say I've got a bucket of THC oil and I am making cartridges from it, um, you know, cartridges like this one with THC oils. And the more such cartridges I can fill, the more I can sell. They don't know for sure, but for example, here's one clue to think about. Vape oil products that police have seized this year have contained vitamin E acetate. Now, uh, products seized in 2018 did not. The feds are still investigating, still figuring it out. You know, it could be that there are multiple substances that are making people ill. So I've got a bunch of different products here that I bought to kind of give you a sense of what it is really we're talking about. Here is a uh, marijuana vape pen, a little cartridge, got some vape oil, press a button, drag, Juul. This has become an incredibly popular product with the youths. It has fueled, the feds say, another kind of epidemic, not a lung illness epidemic, but an epidemic of youth addiction to nicotine. Here's a disposable e-cigarette, just vape it, you're done, you're out. This is the more complicated kind of product. You know, this is, it's called a mod. You've got a tank, you, you pour vape juice in there. You know, you can set it to different settings. That's where we're at right now. There's lots of people still working on figuring it out. So stay tuned.